I think it's widely viewed and certainly taught uh, in the universities of this country that uh, politicians are the leaders of our country. It's a crock. Uh, politicians are the followers of the country. They're the professional followers. Uh, they're brokers of interests. And um, if they're good at it, they're honest brokers. Uh, they try to get the players around the table and make a deal that people can live with. And um, there's nothing inherently seamy or unacceptable about that. Uh, it's a job that needs doing. Um, and good politicians are in short supply and uh, high demand. On the other side of the lobby lies the ultimate arena of competing interests, where laws are passed and society is altered. Here, victory is forged by the most skillful brokers, a few who deserve to be called born politicians. Some people would probably say that I'm the ultimate uh, compromiser. Uh, and from time to time, I do worry about being so interested in trying to get a deal done uh, that I get caught up in trying to compromise too much. But the harsh reality is, I think in politics, the key is to ask for what you want and then take as much as you can get. STR 26 on today's docket, Senator Ellis's bill on judicial redistricting, which would increase the number of minority judges. You all right with me? Uh, judicial selection. You're a good man. You're usually the main one I can count on. For us, these goddamn well, Republicans will come around as quick. We could do something to save this place. He's counted heads and has come up one short. Nixon, Nixon Patterson. Now he's pinning his hopes on one Patterson, particular no. conservative freshman. Uh, Galloway, S6. And I got Sims here, which gets me 22. Yeah, the SJR, I got to have him stick with me all the way. And I think he understands that. I know you got to work on it a little bit. <laughs> He'll get there. I told him, I'm not going to run until you tell me your people are here. Okay. And then come and tell me. Okay. I'll we'll try to get it. All right. Thank you. Hey, Mr. President. Please rise for the invocation of Dr. Charles Green. We humbly pray that you may continue to bless this body in their decisions. Amen. Haywood and Nixon, I was praying for y'all. I said, Lord, keep them with me. I was praying real hard for you, Galloway. I put in a special word for you, that you would have guidance and leadership. But just to make sure you understand, when the bill comes up, I need you to vote to suspend, and you vote against the bill. Now, you're doing the bill today? I'm going to do the bill and the constitutional amendment. You know, both are. On constitutional amendment, I need you all the way. I'm going to bring my measures up. I have to work with people. I have to bend over, I have to kiss ass. When if I feel passionate enough about an issue and I want to get it up on the floor of the Senate, in order to be effective, sometimes I have to go in and I have to bargain with people. You're a good man. So I do my share of back slapping, arm waving, a little hugging and kissing. Hi, Rodney. No, you can't get my vote on judicial redistricting even if you kiss my hand. <laughs> I try and put people at ease, even if they disagree with me on something philosophically. I'm working hard. I'm trying to integrate the judiciary. I'm trying to let our people go. I'm for that. I'm for what? Are you voting with me? I can leave him alone. I'm voting with you most of the time. I know you do. All right. And can you give me a final passage if he flips? If he can? No. But vote against the bill? No. Do you think the bait's going to go on there? Not too long. You think it's going to be short? Yeah. I do. I'm not, I can't do all my rhetorical stuff. I had some good stuff I was going to say. I was going to tell them what, yeah, hey, Mario, I was going to tell them what no good sons of bitches y'all are. <laughs> but I can't do it now since I have a few of your votes. <laughs> uh, Galloway, because he's just a little nervous. He may not be there on final passage, but he understands on the Constitution when we stick all the way. I don't think there'll be a lot of talking to you. Florence, no. We well, did good work. So old uh, Madeline's not here. I think it's kind of dicey. With Galloway wavering, Ellis may not make 21, uh -huh. and one sure supporter is missing. Uh, is Madler going to be here? I won't call and tell his office, track him down to the doctor's office. I said, we really need him. If he's at a doctor here, just roll him here. Well, tell him I don't want to roll him out to the hospital bed, but I got them show to need on this judicial stuff. Because I got 22 votes, but you know how some folks get a little flaky. Madeline is in the doctor's office. He had something wrong with him, and he's going to try to get here. If he doesn't get here, I've got to have you on the three-day room. I just want to make sure that, because that determines whether or not I bring it up. I'm going to have the votes to bring it up. Uh, but you still, if you want to show voting against it, someone, you get to vote against the bill. 
Somebody's on a constitutional amendment on the SGA. All right, I have to have you all the way, obviously. I mean, you can go up there and check it. If I got 21 votes, well, I'll check. You know, switch it. I mean, but I got to have you if I need you. And then on the... Uh, when I'm going around and I'm doing the personal interaction, I'm trying to appeal to people on a one-on-one -on -one level. I mean, you've got to know when to twist someone's arm, when to squeeze someone's arm, when to break someone's arm. In the same way with that neck. Madeline's in the doctor's office. If he gets here, I'm okay. But if not, I want to get this shit out of here today. Why y'all acting nice? Y'all start getting... Well, I'm talking about the chemistry is going to get mad later. We don't get my nuts cut off. We don't, we're not going to let them cut you. <laughs> Come on, stick with me. You want me to lean you over here to bullet? Come on over here and look at bullet. Come on. <laughs> You the key. And of course, I'm praying Madeline would walk on Patterson's in this door. Really going with you? Oh yeah, Patterson's with me. What's his name? What? What? It makes sense. He's gonna even give a passionate speech. In a true democracy, dumb people have a right to be represented as well. And everybody on the floor of the Texas Senate can't have the IQ that I have. Some have a higher IQ. Some have a lower IQ. Fortunately, there are probably a few more that have a lower IQ and a higher IQ. Uh, but it, it's being able to get along with people, even if they don't grasp an issue as quickly as you do. And everybody looking at you. Yeah, a tough but afterwards, when you get through, you go to lunch, and it'll be all right. <laughs> Most people are Senator Madla, is there any way he can vote long distance? If not, how long can we, does he have to get here? How long do you think we're going to go? I know he can't vote long distance, although I've done it from time to time. Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> if Madla's not going to get here, we're going to wait, because that's pushing Galloway too hard. I'm trying to get him on the three-day rule on the backside. I can make it with or without him. I'd prefer to make it with him. I'm 21 on the money without him. Well, let's don't take a chance. I'll try to keep him here that long. Okay. Thank you. Chair lays out the following floor member number 14 by Senator Evans. I think most members uh, have heard about SJR 26 quite a bit. I'd just like to move to suspend, Mr. President. The question is now suspension. All those in favor will vote aye. Stand over here by yellow. Stand over here by you. You're a good man. You're going to go great places. You know it. You're going to go great places. Stand, I, I stand here by you. I, yeah, I. I sure hope you're right right now. You know what? You know I was gonna have to. You know I was gonna have to give you that old vote if you needed it. You what? I was gonna have to give you that vote a minute ago. I thought you were gonna give me one, Buster. Try to help you all the time. This ass kissing is killing me. Zapparini. <laughs> Twenty-one on the money. Twenty-one on the money. Twenty-one on the money. Hope Madela walks in here in a minute. <laughs> well, it's let it go, Brad. I don't know it'll go any place, but oh, all that hours and hours of hard you. work you did it. back there, you Texan. Thank you. Thank you very much. That wasn't easy, and when you could get all that bunch to agree, I got to hand it to you. How you could get all of them to agree, I don't know. Well, using your name, work. you'd be amazed at what wonders I could work around here. I could save this whole state using your name. 